Hi, AD. Come on in. This is my home. We are here, me and Josie B, Miss Josephine Baker, if you're nasty. We are here in New York because uh, I'm doing a play on Broadway. So this is our new place and I want to show it to you because I think it rocks. So I partnered with RH Design to put together this incredible apartment. We love it so much. We love all of the details. It feels really like us, but also like it's particular to New York. The view in this apartment is ridiculous. So that's what made us first fall in love with the place was the view. You come in and you just wanna like sit and cozy and read one of the many gorgeous coffee table books we have or read a script or hang with your friends or read a book. Josie, you can hang out here while I continue the tour, okay? I love the view of this apartment because you can really take in a lot of the city. If you look all the way down here, you can actually see the GW Bridge. Um, and I have a lot of cousins in New Jersey. So when my kids first ran in, they were like, that's New Jersey. Um, so we love having this incredible view of the Hudson and of the city. Um, it's very different from the apartment I grew up in in the Bronx. One of the things I love most about the apartment is my dear friend Portia de Rossi actually left Scandal because she wanted to start this company where she's doing gorgeous 3D printing of paintings. So I wanted to make sure we had some of her work here in the apartment and we do. I love this painting so much because it is structural and modern and um, it's just so strong and beautiful, but it also reminds me a little bit of graffiti. And since we're in New York, and I'm from New York, from the Boogie Down Bronx, it was only right that we have a little bit of an ode to graffiti here. So thank you, Portia, and thank you to my Boogie Down background. Ha! Because the windows are so light and bright and beautiful, they did a great job putting lots of mirrors in this room so that we can bounce the light back into the dining room and have a great time. We love to sit in here. I'm gonna have a really hard time partying with this table when we don't live in New York anymore. I love it. Um, the chairs are amazing. We might spin around in the chairs sometimes before bedtime. I mean, the mirrors, they're beautiful, they're modern, but they feel lived in. So this is where we eat when we're trying to feel fancy, uh, but usually our meals are at our beautiful table in the kitchen. So come on in, want some snacks? Here we go. So this room, as in most homes, is the center of the house. This gorgeous, beautiful table has that real LA vibe. Like it just, it feels very similar to a table that we have in our backyard in Los Angeles. So everybody loves to sit here. We love to be here. These actually really remind me of the oranges that are growing on our tree in Los Angeles. So this is, uh, this is kind of where we are. This is where we start our day. Usually we end our day here. If we're not fancy entertaining people, this is where we are. So everybody eats in this room, I eat up here, kids eat up here, and these decorations up here um, are made from the family. I made some, the kids made some. The view is so incredible and it's unobstructed in every other room. So here in this room, we like to decorate the panes of glass and, uh, and again, just make the room feel like it's ours. In my opinion, well, for me personally, the one item in a kitchen that is non-negotiable is my Vitamix, because I try to start every day with my glowing green smoothie. It's a Kimberly Snyder famous smoothie that's got celery and romaine and lemon juice and apples and pears and bananas, and I love to start my day with it. So that happens here. It's where the magic begins. That's my coffee, people. That's it. This room, some people may call it a den. We call it a media room because this is where we partake in our limited screen time in our family. Welcome. I love this room. So the dark wood feels very cozy, very warm, but there's also very fun, playful elements in the room like this poof. You might imagine that this is a place where people like to snuggle up and get cozy for screen time. Me especially, some other people too. I'm gonna 
warn you that if you dare get a cloud sofa in your home, you should have a backup plan for anything else on your calendar that day because it is like sleeping or sitting on a cloud. It's amazing. You cannot get up from it. And uh, that's not always a bad thing when you're doing eight shows a week on Broadway. You need a place where you can relax. The cloud sofa is perfect. This is our beautiful master bedroom. Not my favorite description of a room in a house. However, we love this space. The bed is super luxe and cozy. It's very hard to get out of. Um, the chairs are extraordinary. This is a favorite activity of my kids. Woo, they get to enjoy the view and spin around. I may or may not enjoy it myself. I think crystals add such a beautiful touch to a room. They're natural, but they are luxurious, and also they just bring good energy into the space, whether you believe it or not. So these gorgeous crystals are here, and then we actually also have sliced agate above the bed. So it's framed, it's beautiful. It's like taking mother nature and saying, that is all the art you need, and it's stunning. And we get to sleep there every night. And we get to wake up to this incredible view of the city, which we love. You can see the GW Bridge from out this window. So for you Hamilton fans, this side of the bridge, that's Washington Heights, which is very close to Hamilton Heights. So two of um, Lin-Manuel's plays, In the Heights and Hamilton, all happen around that bridge. It's the best city in the world, people. From this window, you can see so much of the city. You can actually see Lincoln Center, and we rehearsed American Sun at Lincoln Center. So I could walk to work, and my family could see me walk to work. It was really kind of a dream come true. One of my favorite little spaces in the bedroom is this chaise, um, because it's really a great place to kind of cozy up and secretly read whatever book I'm reading. Like for example, I got an advanced copy of Becoming, Michelle Obama's book, Humble Brag. So if my husband was sleeping, I could be over in this chair reading it and not disturb him, which is exactly what happened because I couldn't put the book down. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Say bye, Josie. Bye. Mwah.